but I have never done this to her or to anyone. That's not who I am. It is not who I was. I am innocent of this charge. Well, outside the walls of the White House, one of the biggest stories in Washington, the dramatic testimony of now Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. The meeting of politics, the Me Too movement, it divided a nation. We're going to explore all of that more on the Supreme Court with Rob Shapiro from St. Xavier University, Bill Mutt from North Central College. Uh, gentlemen, we'll never forget that. But then again, we had Clarence Thomas 20 plus years ago go through the same thing. So in time, does any of it even matter? I think there's some historical stickiness to this. I mean, you think about, you mentioned the way it divided the nation. We were captivated. It exposed where we are politically. Um, I, think there, I think this will be something we talk about in the same way that we talked about the 1991 confirmation of Clarence Thomas. Well, for Clarence Thomas, it certainly didn't change the conservative nature of his decisions. Rob, you think we might see something different here? Well, Kavanaugh showed himself to be a, a little bit different, I think, from what people expected. Uh, not quite as rooted as I think uh, m maybe uh, most people expected. And um, I think he's going to be a little un unpredictable. I just, I have that sense about it. It's very hard to tell, you know, Supreme Court justices tend to change over time. And I think we may see some change in him. So, and we'll talk about some of those issues, but, but one of the other reflecting back cases, probably one of the biggest cases influencing around the country, the Janus case, the, the union dues case, uh, compliments of Illinois uh, that went up there. and. Um, uh, what a, what a difference will, what difference does that make moving forward? Well, you know, different people have different views as to yeah. how great an impact this is going to have. And so far, it does not seem to have had a, an immediate impact. You hear the Janus case being cited in various other contexts. I think there was a case, uh, a case filed recently in which some lawyers said that they didn't want to pay dues uh, to one of the law organizations because the money was going for lobbying or something of that sort. You're going to hear these arguments over and over again. What the practical impact is, we don't really know yet. We haven't really had a chance to see. What do you think, Bill? I think it's likely, it's an indicator that moving forward, we're going to see more business-friendly decisions from this court, uh, maybe anti-environmental decisions, right? Uh, a lot of these cases have, have emphasized the First Amendment, this idea of freedom of speech, uh, freedom of speech in terms of business, right? So I think it's likely that it's a predictor of what's going to come and that the court is going to move to the right. All right, let's, uh, let's take a moment and bridge 2018 to the future, and I want to start in the world of abortion, because the court rejected a case which challenged the role of Planned Parenthood. Some say bill that um, and you know Kavanaugh along with it some are saying that this might be Robert's uh, mission to say you know what let's just keep things quiet right now or is this court not as anti-abortion as somebody would think one of the things I'm looking forward to watch is to see where Justice Roberts is, right? Because he is in this incredibly important position. The legitimacy of the court is, is at stake right now. It's been politicized by the Kavanaugh hearing, and I wouldn't be surprised if he decides and, and moves more to the center, uh, not necessarily because that's where he is legally or politically, but he's worried about the integrity of the court and, and not embracing overly political decisions. Both uh, Roberts and Kavanaugh passed on this particular case, and it does feel like they felt some of that pressure, whereas the three justices that voted for hearing the case were very, very angry about this. They felt this was the time to hear that and case. And Rob, do you think this is Kavanaugh being a new justice staying in line with the chief justice, or do you think this is a guy that is just, that's where he is? It could be. I agree with Bill that the, the Chief Justice Roberts is definitely concerned about what's happening to the court. And you can see that in the actual decisions that he's made substantively, as in the Obamacare decision and also in the rhetoric that he uses both uh, in presenting his arguments and about other justices no. rhetoric as well he's trying to tamp things down he's trying to make things moderate he may very well have gone to Brett Kavanaugh and said look it's in your interest to join me on this too let's have everything calm down after what we're really some searing searing uh, uh, hearings. And just a brief ca comment on this, Rob, for the health care issue. We know a Texas court struck it down 2018, 2019. It may make its way to the Supreme Court. But Justice Roberts saved this case when it first showed up to the court years ago, talking about that, that mandatory uh, penalty, which he said is a tax, but that's gone away. Well, yeah, the Congress removed that, but, um, but the, the, the reasoning of the judge down in Texas, I thought it was completely backwards. I, I haven't yet found uh, a legal commentator that thought that the reasoning So you think that gets sense. reversed, Bill? I do think it gets okay, reversed, Bill? yeah. I think there's a legal ang a uh, angle. I'm most interested in the political element. Republicans have pushed against health care for a long time, and if we saw anything in the 2018 midterms, it appears the public has shifted, and the Republicans may not want this gift that they've been given. All right. Great look back and we'll look ahead. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate Thanks. it. Bill Mutt, Rob Happy Shapiro. New Year. Always Happy good to see you. Happy New Year to you and everybody. But we're going to take one more break and then I'm coming back to it.